Okay, uh, in the previous two videos, we dealt with tangent lines and normal lines and how to find them for curves. And the introductory video, we just considered a couple of two basic examples. In the last video, we applied these concepts in a parametric type curve situation. And here we're going to solve one more problem, again, using parametric equations. The curve in question is this x equals 3t divided by 1 plus t. The y value for the curve equals t squared divided by 1 plus t. So when t equals 2, we want to know what would be the equation of a tangent line that would be tangent to the curve at that point here, t equals 2. So obviously for this curve, it's going to have a certain slope or a certain derivative when t equals 2. Our tangent line has to have that same slope, and this will be the general formula for that tangent line. And if we're going to use this, then, we have to know at t equal 2, what is x1 going to be, what is y1 going to be, and what is going to be the slope of the curve at that point, because that's what's going to determine, obviously, the slope of our tangent line. m is just dy dx when t equals 2, that value that it has when t equals to 2. So first, let's get what x1 is. Let's find out what y1 may be. So t equals 2, we're going to have 6 divided by 3. x1 is 2. And y1 that's going to be 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 plus 1 is 3. Y1 is 4 thirds. Now we want to know what is dy dx. And from our equations, we can easily enough determine using the quotient rule what dx dt is. Likewise for dy dt, but we want to know what is dy dx, and then once you get a formula for dy dx, you want to evaluate it when t equals 2. And here's where the chain rule comes in. This equals dy dt times dt dx. And this is the chain rule. So let's see, we want dy dt. So we use the quotient rule here. dy dt that is equal to this times the derivative of this, so we have 1 plus t times 2t, and then we have minus this times the derivative of this, and that's just 1, and all of this is divided by this squared, 1 plus t quantity squared. So that's dy dt, and let's see, we have here 2t plus 2t squared minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared, and looks like this will give us t squared plus 2 times t divided by 1 plus t squared. So that's our dy dt. And we we'll also figure out what dx dt is using the quotient rule. That's this times the derivative of this. So we have 1 plus t times 3 minus this 
times the derivative of that, and that's just 1, divided by 1 plus t squared. That's dx dt. Here we have 3 plus 3t minus 3t. So this will equal 3 divided by 1 plus t squared. That's dx dt. We want dy dx. That's dy dt. That's this. So dy dx. equals t squared plus 2t divided by 1 plus t quantity squared and we have to multiply that by dt dx and here we have dx dt so that's going to be the reciprocal of this that we're going to multiply by so we have 1 plus t squared divided by 3. These cancel out. dy dx equals t squared plus 2 times t divided by 3. So this was the parametric curve here, the parametric equation for the curve. And this would tell us that any time t we can know what y is and what x is. And here, now we know what the slope of the curve is. That's the formula for it. And we want to know what is the slope of the curve dy dx. What is it equal to when t equals 2? So 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. That equals eight-thirds. So the equation of our tangent line y minus y1 y1 equals four-thirds that equals the slope eight-thirds times x minus x1 and x1 was two so this is the equation of our tangent line. Remember right away at the beginning we determine x1 and y1 and that's the general formula for our tangent line y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1 so there's the equation for our tangent line and we can also determine the equation for the normal line that's just y minus four thirds and that will equal minus 3 eighths, the negative reciprocal of that slope, times x minus 2. And that's it. Uh, there's no more to it than that. It's a pretty simple procedure. Pretty straightforward. Um, we could do some algebra here, and I think you'll see we get something like 3y equals... 8x minus 12 for the tangent line and the normal line is a little bit more complicated it's something 24y plus 9x equals 50 if we do some algebra with this expression so for this for the curve described by this set of parametric equations here, when t equals 2, a tangent line to that curve would have this formula, a line at, at when t equals 2, a line perpendicular to that curve when t equals 2 would have that formula. Okay, uh, that wraps it up for this video. Uh, concerning tangents and normal lines. And as you can see, once you start handling derivatives and you're comfortable with them, you can use them for solving a lot of different types of problems. So with that in mind, come back and join us for some more videos and we'll try and solve some more problems.